we have a question from Robert Carnicelli in regards to his 2007 GSXR 600. He is very curious about going ahead and installing velocity stacks into his bike. What are the pros and what are the cons? Um, that's a good question. Modern bikes now, let's take for example Yamaha's R1, R6, have variable velocity stack timing, which is all done by the ECU, which is supposed to give you the best of all worlds. And for those that don't really know what velocity stacks do, just let's keep it simple with an example from one of my previous race bikes, an FCR 400. For high speed tracks, I had, I think it was blue velocity stacks that were very short, and that was for peak RPM, peak performance. I had some mid range ones which were red, if I remember correctly, and that was for tracks like Sears Point and Button Willow, where you were almost in between gears and needed a little more mid range. And then I had a third set, which I didn't use, and I just kept in the spares box. So velocity stacks have a purpose, but as you can hear by the explanation, they have a single purpose. So if you're using velocity stacks, figure out why. Are they for the track, in terms of better mid-range so that you get better drive off corners? Are they for racing, in that that gives you the best peak power, best performance when you're on full throttle? Or is it for some other reason and can you get the best of a combination of something on both sides of the fence? So just like getting race suspension on a bike, that makes it a race bike. To ride it on the street will be unbearably painful. To get the wrong velocity stacks for the bike will make it unbearably unrideable and very frustrating. So if you are going to make that decision and go for the velocity stacks, do your research, figure out what's out there. There are many companies that make them and at that point decides which ones you are going to get installed and then realize that once that job once that job has been done your bike is only going to work extremely well engine performance wise in a certain band of rpm so hopefully that answers your question if you have questions for me please send them through facebook to dave moss tuning thanks